Are you looking to learn how to create your UGC portfolio quick and easy using Canva? Then this video is for you. I'm going to be walking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your UGC portfolio on Canva, easy and quick so that you can get pitching brands as soon as possible. Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Phoenix and I'm an Etsy shop owner as well as a UGC creator. I recently just made mine. However, I'm going to create a new one with you guys just to show you exactly the process that I used. So now I'm going to do a screen share with you so that you guys can follow along with me while we go through the video. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen now. I have a Canva open. And I am going to go to the templates tab and then you can just type in, as you can see, I've already done it, but just type in website and it should pull up a bunch of different templates for you to use. Some of these are the pro version in Canva. So if you have that, great. If not, there are a few website templates that you can use that you don't need the pro version of Canva for as well. So you can kind of scroll through and pick which one you want to work with. Like this one's pretty cool. And if you want to do a little preview, scroll through like this. And then other options will pop up below you. As you can see, there are a bunch. This one's kind of just plain white, if that's how you'd like to go. And just scroll through. Or there's this one, if you're more of like a pop of color, this could be a lot of fashion. Although you can change everything, all of the photos as well as the text and the styles and the colors. So I'm gonna go back out here. I'll click on this one again. Hmm. It might take you a little while to pick one that you want. And then there's this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. So all you have to do is hit customize your template. And then before you get started with your template, I do highly recommend that you change this into whatever. So your UGC portfolio website or whatever you want to call it, just so that you know in Canva what is your active portfolio. And you'll see here that you did pick a website template because you can preview it and you can also publish your website when it's done. So if you preview it just like right now, you can preview it with navigation or without navigation. That just means these parts at the top here. So you can preview it on desktop or you can also preview it on mobile so you can make sure that it looks good in all areas. So whether you're on the desktop or the mobile screen, that'll be for later though. What I do recommend that you do is first go in and rename all these tabs. So I've already done this. So I would call this the introduction page. And then I do like either about me or the bio and then portfolio. I would actually go why UGC because you do want to explain why you're creating UGC content. Number four, I would go photo gallery, five recent videos because this is your portfolio that you're going to be pitching to brands. Six is packages, so what your prices are, and then seven, do you like to type contact me? You can also add in an eighth and ninth page so you can go with um, brands that you already worked with as well as testimonials if you do have any to throw in there also. But for now, we're just going to stick with the basic seven pages because this is for beginner UGC creators. So usually you don't have previous brands that you've worked with or testimonials from the brands that you've worked with. All right. So then I would go into your uploads. And as you can see, I've already uploaded my own content into here and you have images as well as videos. So make sure you have a handful of videos and photos that you've taken for brands with things around your house so that you can drag and drop them into here. And that's all you have to do to upload something is just drag from a file like this. So recents, you can just drag and drop. So what I'm going to do next is obviously change the lookbook to UGC creator. You can drag and drop whatever photos you want, add your own name. And then kind of just like a little sentence about 
who you are and why you're a creator. So I would say I'm a UGC creator that specializes with whatever type of product that you want to work with. So you could say skincare and hair, you could say food and beverages or travel and maybe household items. So it specializes with care and beauty products. And here you can also say something else. So you could say I have been, uh, I have been working with product for four years and have passion to create converting content or something like that. I don't know, whatever fits who you are. <laughs> And then here, obviously, I would put 2023 because that is the year that we're in. And then lastly, if you do just want to change the photos. So you could put your own photo in there. And then put another photo of yourself in like the top one. And it'll shrink if you do just drag it and drop it. If you do end up deleting this, you can also just find frames and we're gonna show that in the next couple slides. So then you're gonna go to the about me. I do like how they labeled it zero one and you'll see this is like zero two, zero, there's no zero three there, but we're gonna add a zero three there. <laughs> and then in the about me, you can drag and drop your photos, and then you can also type in your little paragraphs. I already have a couple paragraphs made. So I'm just gonna copy and paste mine in here. But this is just a brief overview of who you are and why that brand should work with you. Nothing too big because you technically are not an influencer, you are just a UGC creator. So you're creating content for their brand to convert either people to sales or whatever they're looking to do with the videos. Keep going and you kind of just update it. So this one I have YUGC, so I'm actually going to delete this photo. Maybe just resize this one. I'm gonna drag this over here and then I'm gonna type in Y U G C. And I'm going to put that in the middle. And then I do already have a blurb made. If you do get one of my pre made uh, presets, you'll be able to get this blurb that I've already taped out, but I'm just going to copy and paste that. And then delete that. I copy and paste it extremely funny. But we're going to convert it to 13 font. And then, actually, I'm just going to delete that. Why UGC? There we go. So just add in Y UGC. I just like to make sure that the fonts match the, the entire portfolio so that way everything is all matching so why you just see and then here maybe i'll put like a product shot that i've taken next is our photo gallery so we're actually going to delete all of this i'm going to go back and copy this guy and paste i'm going to put oh three here and I'm also going to go back and copy this and paste, and we're going to go recent photo. Oh, no, let's go. Let's match our slide. So photo gallery. And then all you have to do is go into here and type frame. You can have these picture frames. I like to get the square one. Which is this guy. So we get a little photo gallery. Make sure that 
copy and paste a few. Depending on how many photos you have. And then you can copy and paste those guys. Make sure they're all lined up. And just play around with this. I will say I would group these guys so that when they show up on the phone preview, they're together and they're not split up in your slides. And then like we were doing before, all you have to do here is drag and drop, double click, and you can adjust what the photo box sees. So I would drag and drop this guy, this guy, one. I am going to be working with dog products, so I do want to have my dog in there. Drinks again. And then we'll add in this hand soap for Dove. So you can put as many photos as you want. You can also add another page by clicking the three dots and saying add page, or you can even duplicate the page as well, and it'll allow you to have more photos. I'm going to delete that though. And then recent videos, we're kind of going to do the same thing, but we're going to put that to four now. We can go recent videos. There you go. I like to line it up with the rectangle that's in here. And once again, I would group those. If you don't want to click on the group, you can hit Command G and it will group whatever you have selected. So I'm going to remove those, and for videos, I'm actually just going to, oh, that is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to click it, and then I'd like to resize it. And I do that, I have four videos for my portfolio right now. Obviously, you can add as many as you'd like. I have a few different ones. I would suggest creating videos that correspond with the brands that you'd like to work with or that you have worked with if you do already have a couple of say gifted collabs that you've done and I like to make sure everything is even so that you can see there's the 12 12 12 on the screen another thing that you need to do is select all of them or go oh, okay well we'll go on one at a time and you go to the playback button and then you hit off in the autoplay and presentation so that all of your videos don't play at the same time when they scroll to your recent videos tab because that would be a little overwhelming and they won't be able to see all of your videos one by one and then we're going to go to packages and i kind of do like this setup they have with the two photos but again change that to five and then we are going to go back here actually we're going to go to here and we're going to copy and paste and we're going to obviously change that to packages again i do like to line it up with that rectangle and then i'm going to group those and for this you can drag and drop and you can adjust it so this is all grouped right now once again if you just select all of them you can drag and select and you can hit ungroup and then you can drag all of these around now put them down here if you like and if you do want to grab a couple at a time click say click the hair hit shift click black and you can select as many as you want and move them around all together so i'm actually going to delete these because i do already have a package one made i am going to Copy and paste. So you can actually select packages or you can also say price list if you prefer that. Packages kind of sounds nice though. Makes it seem more, you know, formal. So there we go. These are just some random numbers that I have for <laughs> packages that I've created for templates. And then also you can add in, you know, if you want to do customizable packages, so say Brown only wants like two videos and like four pictures that you can customize it to their needs. I would also make sure to include that if you are filming longer content video, that there are additional charges to it because most videos are based off your base rate is 15 seconds. And then again, I would go back and change all of these photos because those are not you. So 
So put in whatever photos you want that fit with your brand and what you're trying to get across. And then you could go to the contact me. So work with me, I would obviously change this to your name and then you can say work with me and then you can put in your city if you want. On mine, I just have my location. So just Vancouver. I don't have my actual home address on there. And then you can put in your uh, your email, which I think is very important. And then you can also put your phone number if you want. I don't think that's as important, but email is definitely very important. And then here, you can just replace it with like a photo of you working or whatever kind of photo you want. And you can add in the 06 if you'd like, but this is pretty much the photo videos about me introduction so that's extremely quick another thing i would suggest adding in is probably in your about me page you could ship these guys up and then you can also go to elements and i would just type in you can see i've used them but just like these guys your social medias so i would add in your like tiktok logo click it click that guy and then you can add him in there and all the other ones. So say you want to do TikTok, Instagram icon. So let's do this little guy. And if you want them to match, line up the bottoms, drag and shrink it till it matches. So your TikTok, your Instagram, you can even do Pinterest, grab this guy, drag, drop down here, shrink to match. This way they don't line up and then oops, put them in the middle. And then I would also go ahead and add in your, your Instagram handle, whatever it is you're at, and then put it down here just so they know your socials. And then I would make sure that that matches the other text. And also another thing you can do is you can actually link in your social media to your website. So that when they click on say the Instagram icon, your link to your Instagram pops up. So if you want that, click on it. And then you can hit this chain link button up here and paste. So control V or you know this and paste whatever link you have, just copy it from your web browser. Or you can also hit Command K and the link will pop up as well. And then you hit Control V and your link will be there and active. If you would like to as well, it's not as important because you are a content creator and not an influencer. You can put your numbers.